All right, YouTube, we're back here for round two of the PTQ. I beat Mardu Pyromancer in round one, so hopefully round two goes just as good. This hand's great. This is a turn two nat. This is turn two nasty. I'm gonna save my Street Wraith probably because I have stuff to do with my mana. But this this hand is this hand's a nut. You can't you can't mulligan this hand. It's good against it's it's got game against everything. It's got like a discard spell, a threat. It doesn't have like it's probably a little bit soft to burn. What did Foothills? Yeah, not Gideon good. Playing Dredge. Playing Hollow One. Surge. Okay, we're playing against... This is a good matchup. I'm pretty pumped to be playing against this deck. Okay, so I'm going to save my Street Wraith for my Serum Visions a couple turns down the line. Watery Grave... Okay, so they have they got a little bit more of a spice on it. I'm just gonna take the path. They're probably like the Nahiri version. Yeah, I'm gonna take this path to exile. This blood right else gonna be pretty annoying, but I'll figure out how to deal with it. I, I think getting the getting nasty down is gonna be pretty important, and like their mana is pretty awkward. I guess I can go Valakut, Shock, play blood right elf. Okay, another search. Alright, um. I'm gonna fetch. I'm gonna fetch my. I think I'm gonna fetch another watery grave. Yeah, I have so much blue in my deck that's relevant. I'm just gonna fetch another. I really don't want to fetch Steam Vent, so I'm gonna fetch. Watery Grave, and Thought Scour myself, and play Nasty. Okay. So do I Thought Seize this Blood Raid Elf, or do I get... What's Blood Raid Elf going to do? No, I'm just going to get Angler down. If I find a Fetch Land next turn, then I can just get rid of it. And all it's going to do is ramp. My opponent's going to be able to ramp no matter what. I need to get a threat down. Opponent has to take two to shock, so it's all okay. Okay, that's good. So we got an elf. What are we gonna do here, bud? We are gonna blood red elf. I'm gonna take two points. Hopefully he hits like a lightning bolt. It's renegade rallier. You didn't fetch, but at least they get a two. They get a three two on the battlefield. That's not bad. That actually kind of checks my nasty. So I know they have Valakut. I should have looked at that more. All right, let's. Ooh, okay. I think I'm gonna want both of these because, like, this turn I can cycle and play Death Shadow, clear the board, play Death Shadow. Next turn I can go Thoughtseize, play Death Shadow, and really turn the clock up. My opponent's got Valakut and one other card. This is interesting if they take this or not. I can always thought season my upkeep if I don't want a Death Shadow. 
Yeah, we'll take this. We're we're very we're very close to just dying from these just natural valicates. Cause like my opponent's gonna get the fifth mountain. Here comes the fourth mountain. My opponent's got a valicate in their hand. So it's the sixth mountain that starts to get me. So now a ramp spell. Or primeval Titan is just like game over. Search for tomorrow shoots my Death Shadow. I don't understand why they wouldn't play Valakut. I think we're losing this game as well. I don't understand why you wouldn't play Valakut and do get two triggers. So I probably actually have to thought seize them to make it so that a land drop doesn't deal a bunch of damage to me. Or doesn't kill my Death Shadow. As sad as this is. I know what this is. This is just purely to make my Death Shadow a 5-5. Five five. So now we just gotta hope that they don't have a million of their draws. So he must have drawn like a forest or something. Do I even want any of this stuff? I probably just want stubborn denial. Cause like I can't I can't unless I find a land off of this serum vision, but if I put this on top, I can't find a land. This is five. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this on the bottom. I'm gonna attack now. I should I should have attacked first. This is poor, poor sequencing. Though I guess this leaves me in trouble to like Bloodbraid Elf, but we're in trouble to Bloodbraid Elf pretty much anyways. Is there any way? Hang on. So if I leave both of these cards on top, my opponent misses. I think I'm gonna put this on top and put this on top, and then hope to find damage off of this Thought Scour in order to kill my opponent next turn. So if they miss, I give myself the chance to just kill them. But, sorry, dog's moving there. Okay, Steve. Steve's bad. Steve cuts off a lot of outs. Because Steve now kills my Death Shadow. Or just me if they have another mountain. Yeah, so they're just going after me. So I must be super dead here. Like, any spell kills me. Any spell, any land. So, so I don't really understand what my opponent was. I guess they were holding it up. Okay. All right. It's all right. We get a fourth stub, two denials, and a Liliana for this matchup, which is pretty good. So, like, I really like these cards. Cards I'm not super in love with are Fatal Push. Terminate's okay because they bring in Bayloth, and K-Command's okay because they play whatever it is. They have um, Engineered Explosives, and sometimes you can discard. The discard's relevant sometimes. Sometimes you get got by Bayloth, but like, it is what it is. I think I'm going to shave one Angler and one Snapcaster because they bring in a lot of Relics. Excuse me. Yeah, I agree. Just shave on some graveyard synergies.
프로세스죠. 오케이. Okay. Give me one second. You drooled everywhere, Phil. Really? Why you drooled everywhere? Okay. All right. Um, what do I like to play first? Yes. Yeah, this is a this is a this is a pretty good hand. I like disruption, but it's a good clock. I think we can keep this on the play. I probably have to get watery grave with this so I can cast angler because I need I need to uh, have enough cards in my graveyard. Okay, nothing for my opponent's good. I could have got a steam vents there, but I just hate getting steam vents. Okay, so now we can go Death Shadow also. So let's cycle this just to see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so now we can do both. Okay, so let's go get our red source. Let's get down nasty and this is a pretty pretty good draw. If my opponent goes like hits has an EE, -E, then we can command it. So this is a pretty powerful. This is a good draw. They have a Steve. We can get rid of the Steve. My Death Shadow could just be getting bolted here. Yeah, my Death Shadow is getting bolted. Maybe it's getting bolted. They're paying costs. What is this? Oh, they have a path. Okay. Yes. That's all right. Let's just get island. Just so they'll have they have path plus bolt. I'm in trouble. This is just Steve, it looks like. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's start with this. Okay, so I'm probably actually just going to go bing, bing to get damage in. And the question is, should I shock them? No, i got to shock Steve and then make them discard a card. We're just going to get in here. The next turn I can start doing some Snapcaster shenanigans. Yes, yeah, Steve plus Ralliers is, is gas there. I'm 1-0 water, water Emblem. What we got here. Come on. Hopefully we don't get Bay lost. I think we're not getting Bay lost because our opponent would have already slammed it if they had it. So we're definitely gonna snap visions on our main phase. Might snap K command. Whoa, nothing. Okay. So now I can return that at least. So that's pretty good. Stubbs gas. Okay, so now we're just going to attack in with our death shadow. And we're going to hold up stub, like snap stub. Probably go like 
Snapcaster Thought Scour at the end of the turn, and then we're one point off killing them. So. So I'm actually just going to Thought Scour because I don't want to get my anything bolted or pathed. And then after I attack, I'll snap K command and kill them. Or I can just, yeah. Do this on my main phase. So now they need triple bolt out of their two red sources to kill me. Okay, nice. MTG bot is fake news. Okay, let's look at what else we got here. So with how strong we were talking about the Snapcaster plus um, the Renegade Rallyer plays are, I wonder if it's worth bringing a Spellbomb in. Spellbomb is such low... Like, what are these bolts going to do? These bolts are going to bolt our face. And is it better to have something to stop Renegade Rallyer or to bolt my face to try to kill them? I think because we're on the draw, I think it's... But then this stops Renegade Rallyer because we just bolt something, but then they like if they get something back, but then the blocker is still there. So I think if I want to take something, it doesn't make sense to take it from this. Maybe K Command might be too slow on the draw. And hitting engineered explosives on the draw might not be as relevant. Maybe Snapcaster Mage is too slow on the draw. And maybe I'm just overthinking it. What do you think, Phil? Okay. Um, they kept seven. I don't have a discard. I have a discard spell. Okay, we're good. I didn't see my inquisition for a second. No search for tomorrow, please. Wow, Thoughtseize is great, too. So... I guess I'm going to lead off with Inquisition. Okay, Explore. So we take Explore. Next turn we take Bloodbright Elf and Slam the Death Shadow. Then we just have to deal with this Obstinate Bailoth, and we're in good shape. Surprised? I guess they wanted to get a mountain. It's definitely a beatable hand. I drew Valakut. Okay.
I think I think we can actually get Blood Crypt with this because we don't have that much blue source and we can get our Battle Rage. Okay, so we take Blood Red Elf. Make this big so I don't click this obstinate Veiloth. We're one off of being able to play a Delve card, but we're going to be able to Delve next turn. I play Cinderglade. I'm going to do this before combat because I could hit something to grow my shadow. Put on the bottom. Put on top. Poke in for one. And then we're going to play Tassier. Our clock's pretty slow. So. Yeah, we have Scape Shift covered now. We don't have Primeval Titan covered. If my opponent plays Bayloth, I'm just going to play Liliana and Edict it. Stomping ground. So they go to 20, and then they go to 13. So I know they have Windswept Heath, and that's it. And then i got to figure out what I'm doing after that. Come on, baby! Through the Reach Titan, dead. We're definitely not plussing our Liliana before we attack. So there's the Heath. Okay, that's gas. That's not gas. So we attack first. And I'm going to plus this because if they play a Titan, I want to be able to edict it. So I beat. So what happens here? They go fetch mountain. Then they have four mountains. They play mountain. Yeah, I think I just have to be able to edict a Titan or be able to attack around it. Right, because if this goes to mountain, if they play an untapped mountain, if it's a shock land, I can flash in Snapcaster Mage and kill them. They would have played a Bayloth if they had it. But what if I don't use, like, I could easily have killed them there. Like, there, there, there are many draws in my deck that just end the game. They're on the spot, right? They might need the blocker. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. Mountain, oh, God. They had the untapped mountain. Are you shitting me? So now Valakut does six. They clear out. They can't clear out. Both of my blockers, they can't clear out a blocker and Liliana to block. So they can kill Liliana. They can kill a Death Shadow. I think they're dead. Because like they can they can only kill, they can only do six damage. They play Primeval Titan. They get a Valakut and a land. Deal six to me. Okay. Deal six, deal whatever. Deal three to Liliana. Deal three to me. They're dead. 
They get a death shadow. They get they, they deal three to death shadow. They deal six to death shadow. They die to the edict. I think we're good here. You're going out after this, buddy. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna take my dog out before the next round. Come on. They definitely have a Titan. I think they have a Titan. They could have Bloodbred Elf, but they don't have Revolt. Yes, sir. Okay, so here's Titan. I think we have Titan Beat. Right? We have Titan Beat. But I got the stub for that, right? So this deals six. So this kill, they already played a land. I like it. I mean, it's, it's not super great. It's definitely not as good as it used to be, but I, I just like the deck. So they've already played a land, so we just let this go. I just edict them and attack with my task. I don't even have to flash in my Snapcaster Mage. Oh, you're just kidding? Okay. I should have known. You're, you're better at magic than that. Okay, should I flash my... I don't think... My opponent's tapped out. Is there anything I could have? They're just dead on the board, right? I don't think there's any real reason to do this, but like... As long as I edict them, I'm in good shape. Oh yeah, gut shot. No gut shot. They give me Gurmy. Okay, so let's activate our Liliana. Back to the Titan. Yeah. All right. I will be back for round three in a second. I just have to go.